The main budget bill for state government is sailing through the 2019 legislature at record pace. It won endorsement by the full Senate floor today. But as MTN's Mike Denniston reports, some spending priorities and other pieces of the budget have yet to be worked out. On a bipartisan 27-22 vote, the state Senate advanced House Bill 2, which is the pillar of Montana's $10 billion two-year budget. It funds our schools, keeps the schools open, keeps the prisons closed, and it keeps the snowplows running on time. That's, that's what it does. The only lengthy floor debate came over money for assisted living homes, which say without higher reimbursement rates, they often can't accept more state-funded residents. Republican Senator Bob Keenan of Big Fork proposed an amendment to raise those rates so these elderly in need of help could avoid going to a more expensive nursing home. The facilities that provide these services cannot afford at $95 a day to take care of these elderly, Medicaid-eligible Montana folks. So they end up being put into nursing homes at $202 a day. His amendment lost on a 23-24 vote with nine Democrats and 14 Republicans opposing it. Another similar amendment failed, but Republican Senate Majority Leader Fred Thomas promised a special effort would be made to insert the funding in a separate bill. It's possible that House Bill 2 could be sent to Governor Steve Bullock in its current form, but Democratic leaders and the governor himself say the budget debate at the 2019 legislature is far from over. If we think that the game's over, uh, if House Bill 2 gets to my desk, now the legislature still has a heck of a lot of work to do because we've got to pay for the government that people expect. On the Senate floor Thursday, Minority Leader John Sesso of Butte brandished a list of scores of bills still alive that spend money or hand out tax credits and cuts. He said many are sponsored by majority Republicans and if the budget is to balance, a lot of them must die. And we've got to be vigilant in these next couple weeks to make sure that all our bases are covered and that we keep this budget in the black, we keep it balanced. We also have some other big money issues to settle, like Medicaid expansion and infrastructure, and a few tax increases may be in the mix as lawmakers reach the budget finish line. At the Capitol, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Senate committees will take up both the Medicaid expansion and infrastructure bills on Friday.